Good morning. This is Cindy, and it is a gloomy day here in the Finger Lakes. And today we're doing something a little bit different. I have all of my stamps out in my cool box that I made a while back. I have my stamp pads, and I have tracing paper. I watched Gail Agustinelli putting together some very cool focal points. And one of the things that she had in, in layering up these focal points were these stamps on tracing paper that she had done at some point. And then all she had to do was rip them out and use them. And I thought, well, heck, I can do that. So I did a few the other day, and I'm going to do some more today. Now, this tracing paper that I have is actually very old. Um, I... As a young girl, one of the things on my bucket list was to create with stained glass. I thought making a stained glass window would be a really cool thing to do. I mentioned in previous videos that I was I, and always have been fascinated with light and how light changes color when it passes through a filter. Well, stained glass windows, there you go, the original light through filters. And I really wanted to learn how to make stained glass. When I was engaged to be married, my dad, I was still living at home, and my dad found a course at Arundelquay High School. They were doing, I'm looking at these, trying to decide which one I want to do. Uh, they, were, they were offering a course in making stained glass. It was an art course. It was not making a window. It was making all sorts of things. But we took this course and I had a riot. And in that course, one of the things you do is use tracing paper to create your patterns. So I bought this pad of tracing paper before I got married. I've been married for almost 42 years. So it's old tracing paper. When I say old, I mean old. Half the United States was not even born yet. So what I'm going to do with these is I've got all of these um, frames. My thought today is to do up a bunch of the frames in a couple of different colors. And then I'm going to put words or images inside of them. And I'm going to take this real quick. This is really just here so I can see the paper better. These are just a couple pieces of coffee dyed paper that got ripped or I'm deciding to use as um, just stamp places. And uh, I, that makes it a little bit easier to see the pattern on the mat. Because this is this gray mat is the only mat I have. It flips over so it's a lighter, si lighter color on the other side. That doesn't really help so much. It's still hard to see. So I haven't used these stamps yet. This will be interesting to see how they go. And as far as the stained glass goes, I made several pieces. My, at that time, boyfriend, now husband, also thought it would be cool. So I taught him how to do it. And he has made several stained glass lamps. So I have a number of stained glass lamps in my house that are really pretty. I like how that came out. Okay, we're going to do a couple of these. I'm probably, I might do an entire, not an entire sheet, but at least an entire row of them in this color. Obviously, I need to get bigger acrylic blocks. I, I don't, I have just this one as in this size. I have two in a slightly smaller size. Um, and I my husband got them for me for Christmas and I need to get some larger ones as well because I have some bigger stamps. That's coming out quite nicely. I like them. Don't know where I'm going to use these. Doesn't matter. This is just making up pieces so that when I go to put my journals together and make journal cards, I have some I have some focal points. That has been my biggest frustration in doing all of the journaling is that I don't have any focal points or have very few. 
I'm not going to try and put a fourth one down there because I think eventually I may want to rip these. And what I'm going to just do is leave them together for now. The other ones are apart in my little bag there because I've already, like I said, I tried this. I wanted to see how it was going to work. Um, and it worked out quite well. So I'm pleased with that. Maybe I will do an entire sheet of these because these are actually quite large. And so I think it's going to take an entire sheet of them. And I like this particular frame. So my pink journal went together very quickly. It took about oh, less, maybe two days to put that together. I was really impressed with how fast it went. When I, And I have been doing a lot of what Gail Agostinelli puts down as her, I think she has seven steps. Um, I'll try to find that video and, and put the link below as to how she puts together a, a, a project. And the one step that I've always been doing is I always gather my materials first. So I have everything ready before I even start putting the journal together. Um, but she also had all these pre-made, there we go, I like that. She had all of these pre-made pieces, pockets, and um, just folders, uh, uh, journal cards, tags. She had everything put together already. And that made it so much easier. And I thought, I really need to do that. So I've been building up my stash. Um, but problem the problem with creating journal tags and whatnot, I'm bringing my stamp. To the, I prefer to bring my pad to the stamp rather than the stamp to the pad. I think I can, I can see it better. I can see what, what how much ink I actually have on the stamp this way. What I have discovered in doing this is that you have to be very careful about touching it after you lift the stamp up because it smears. Tracing paper takes a little bit of time to dry. So if you are doing this, I like that, uh, and you're using tracing paper, just know that you need to give it a little bit more time to dry. I know that because I smudged a number of them yesterday. Because as you, as you can tell, it, I am not a neat. I think I'm going to put it here and leave that space. This particular set of stamps is from the uh, Recollections. They're just Recollections Clear Stamps. They don't seem to have a name to the set, but it was two, two, two sleeves of stamps. I kind of like the laurel, but that's very large. And for a for what, my purpose for this, I think that I want to stick with smaller things. Okay, I'm going to set that one aside for the moment because otherwise I'm going to stick my fingers in it and that... That one, for example, is still shiny, which means it's still wet. You also don't necessarily need as much ink for these. Although what's really cool is that I can, you know, go in the sides. I'm going to try a double impression and see what I can get. A double press. See, that still came out just fine. That's still coming out actually pretty well. So let me clean this one off a little bit. Oh, look, I got a nice impression off of that. I won't go with third one though. Okay, so we'll clean those off. And then we're gonna swap to a different frame. Um, I think I wanna grab one out of here. I'm staying away from the hearts because to me, that's more Valentine's Day and I'm or romantic, and I'm not doing a romantic one right now. So this has I, this particular collection actually has two hearts. It has one on this page and one on this page, but I'm sticking with the smaller of the 
choices. That's very similar to this one, so I think I will go instead, even though it's nice and small, I'm going to go with a slightly larger one. That's interesting. These others often have a little thing inside. This one's like a hole. I, for a minute, I thought I broke it. I did not. It is the way it is put together, and it fits just on that particular block. This block uh, is... I got them backwards again. I'm not sure where this block came from. Uh, it came in a kit with something that I, I was given for Christmas, but I can't remember what kit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of these. I think we'll continue to try doing two impressions at once because I really kind of wasted ink over there, unless I decide to rip that apart and use it up as well which I might do. I might yet do that. You never know. Eventually it will become a an envelope, a bunch of journal cards. It'll be a master board. Now, I'm, you may wonder, okay, you're doing a whole lot of frames, Cindy, but you're not really doing anything with them. I will. In a moment, I will. Okay, I do like those. So obviously all of these frames are somewhat leafy in their nature. Um, that's part of the set. Everything has leaves on it. Like I said, it doesn't seem to have a name on it. I'm kind of surprised at that. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? I have a couple of... I have one other type of frame over here. Um, I did a bunch of those before. I'm not overly fond of it. So I think I'm going to not do any more of that particular frame. And I will do some of those, that, that little frame that I wasn't sure about. Okay, I just set that there. But I've got space, so I think I'll see. That does not, I can't go through on that one. It, it has a... So that one surprised me when I could put my finger right through it. But I checked and it's not ripped. It's just the way it is. I have discovered that I do like these acrylic frames or acrylic stamps better than I do the wooden stamps, wooden frame stamps. While those are really pretty, this almost looks Christmassy. It almost looks like holly. Um... The wooden frames are nice, but I, it's really hard to see. And I, I'm, I like the fact that I can see in these better. I'll try a double stamp. See how it goes. That's one of the neat things is, you know, you, you try it, you, you like it, you don't like it. You use it, you don't use it. What I have found with stamps is, is at least these bigger stamps stamp pads because I end up stamping my finger all the time. So I end up with this ink on my fingers. Uh, I might be able to get two out of there. Actually, I can get another one over here because, like I said, these are small. So we'll do the second impression over here. Okay, I'm going to take a minute and clean up these stamp pads because these are the only blocks that I have and I want to swap out now for the things that are going to go inside. So I'm going to pause and I will be back in a moment. Okay, we are back. I have cleaned up my stamps and put them away. At the moment, I'm still keeping things in their original packaging. I do need to find a better way of doing this. Um, these are starting to split along the side because they're really not meant for long-term use. But at the moment, that's a problem for another day. Now, one of the things I did forget to do was cover up my stamp pad, and I'm going to do that because otherwise I will, in fact, stick my elbow in it. Because as you can have seen, I am not that neat of a crafter. I, I need a neat space, but then I'm, after that, I'm kind of all over the place. 
All right, so I used the word garden before and sunflower, so I'm going to not do those at the moment. I'm, I'm keeping those handy, but I'm not going to try them to start with. I just got this set from Crafter Square. This is Crafter Square in the United States is carried by the Dollar Tree store. So these were a buck and a quarter. And I really like getting stamps for a dollar and a quarter. That's kind of a neat thing here. Now, one of the nice things about doing this is on tracing paper is I can put it underneath and see whether or not it's actually going to fit. So catch your dream will kind of sort of fit in there. Be Brave definitely does. Let's see if Be Brave will fit under these as well. I might be able to get one or two out of those. So let's go ahead with Be Brave. I brought the other colors out, but at this point I'm just doing everything in black uh, because I really don't know where I'm going to use these. I don't know what kind of a journal I might use them in. And here I would go do it in, in green and I'm doing it in a you know, blue journal or something. Anyway, so I have not used these stamps before, so it may take a little bit for the ink to, you know, some people prep their stamps. I have not found the need to do that. I may be sorry, but Okay, and I'm going to put it kind of canted, at least in this first one. Can, am I still in frame? Yes, I'm still in frame. Be brave. Be bold, be resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of man. For none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Oh, I said Macbeth. Now I probably have to go outside three times and spit. Turn around three times and spit. I am not um, going to double these. Actually, you know what? I can. I have these strips from the last time that I did this. Let me take that off of there for a minute. And I bet I can get another good impression. There. So now see, I could put that somewhere too. Okay, will this fit in anything else? I don't think so. It's just a little bit tight to put in there. So I think I'll do one more on of here to have. But I don't think... I can fit it into the others. It's a little bit too big. Be brave. And let me grab that sheet. And we will stamp this off on here. That one didn't come out as well. Um, I don't know how tracing paper would work. I'm making, um, I will be making my own paper shortly. I have done that in the past. I will be doing it again. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take that off of there because I like that. Catch your dream. That's a little bit too big. Doesn't quite fit. I had one here that said, here we go. I want this one. What I think I would like to do is to, to, when I redo all of these, this is also from Crafter Square, another good one from the uh, Dollar Tree. This one says, enjoy the little things. And I think what I'd like to do is to take all of the words and put them all on the same paper, the same acetate, and then take all of the butterflies and put those on the same acetate. Because right now I'm kind of scattered and I find I have to flip through them more than I would like. Okay, enjoy the little things. 
again, these are rather large. So on, on all of these, rather than putting in words, I will be putting in flowers and butterflies and ladybugs. See, that's a little bit big. So I think I won't do that one again. I'm just gonna stamp off here. Came out nice, but yeah, I won't do that one again. Okay, so let's go ahead and find some of those ladybugs. I got this little ladybug right here that I think is very, very cute. I should probably try to do her in red Shouldn't I? Do I have red with me here or is it way over? Yeah, I have an orangey red, which is really more appropriate for a ladybug. If I can get the ink open, there it goes. So I've not obviously done a lot with stamps, but when I realized that you could do these, I thought I can do that, watch me. There we go, just a little ladybug. And again, because I don't want to go with a second impression. Sorry, we have a neighbor who has a rather noisy little car. And so he's making noises over there. I'm gonna close up that black. This has two windows, this room, and I absolutely love the the light that is here. I don't even know if I'm still in frame. I'm not in frame. Sorry. I will fix that in a moment. Let me get this impression made and I will move my stuff up. There we go. Now we're in frame. Now you can see my ladybugs. You couldn't see my ladybugs before. They're very pretty ladybugs. Let's see. Oh, I just did this on the wrong side of the paper. That's all right. Okay. So there we have a little ladybug. A little, little, it's kind of orangey rather than red. But in this part of the world, they tend to be a little bit more orangey. Okay. Uh, Got a little flower here. What color should we do flowers? And it's a red orange. It's not a, because that's my orange. That's That one was spiced marmalade. This one was barn door. So I used barn door for that. Um, oh, how about we do a little purple flower? Do I have any more room on there? I do. So let's do our purple flower. And then when I'm done with all of these, I'm going to go ahead and leave them together until such time as I want of an image out of it. I think that will fit right in there. Okay, I don't know if I like that as much. But I'm gonna set that page aside. And I'm going to go ahead and pause my video while I go ahead and fill these in, and I will be back when I am done. Okay, so I'm back. I have filled in all of these. I have this little itty bitty teeny tiny butterfly stamp. And so for that one, I used fossilized amber and barn door again and spiced marmalade and those became my three little butterflies i did also find the word thankful again this is one of those things i why i think i want to put all my words together because i didn't have that initially but i found it so i put it in there i tried it in green i tried using a couple of other colors didn't really like them so i stopped doing that i have my Be Brave sheet here. I have an extra thankful, a couple of extra little butterflies, and a little green thingy over here as well. I finished and put everything away, cleaned everything up, 
and realized I still have two here to do. So I will figure out something to put in there. But uh, in the meantime, now I have a bunch of focus points. I've got or focal points. I've got, uh, this has really been fun and uh, playing with stamps, playing with colors. I hope you have a great day and have enjoyed your time with me. Uh, sorry, I'm my mind is going six ways to Sunday. Make sure you have subscribed and click the little bell down below to get notifications on future videos. I did put out a walkthrough on Wednesday, so make sure you take a look at that because I have a new journal available. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below. Talk to me. Uh, say Just say, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Make sure you take a look at my Etsy shop. There will be a link down in the description box. And the, make sure you play safe. This is Cindy signing off.